This is an Acer Chromebook 514. It has a 1.1 GHz Intel Celeron N3450 processor, 4 GB of RAM, integrated graphics, and it runs the latest version of Chrome OS. So far, I've played Minecraft on Windows 11, I've played Minecraft on Linux, I've played Minecraft on Windows 7, but today, we're going to be playing Minecraft on a Chromebook. This laptop was given to me by Laptops for Learning. Massive shout out to them. I'll leave them linked in the description down below. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into installing Minecraft on this thing. Spoiler alert, it's pretty difficult. All right, so I just switched over to my screen capture card here. And yeah, we're on the Chromebook. This is my desktop. So yeah, let's go ahead and install Minecraft on this Chromebook. So you need to go to your settings, first of all. And we need to go ahead and go to advance, go to developers, and then turn on Linux development environment. So then we just need to go ahead and set it all up. I'm going to go the recommended disk size, and then it should install Linux. Chrome OS is actually built off of Linux, so this shouldn't take too long. It is kind of like a virtual machine, but yeah, hopefully this doesn't cripple our performance when we try and play Minecraft later on, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to give this a minute to install and I'll be back once it's finished. So next, what you need to do is you need to go to Minecraft's website, go to Minecraft and you need to make sure you download the Debian version of Minecraft. Just go ahead and go to get Minecraft and then make sure you select computer, go to Linux and what you want is the Debian version. Now, what you need to do is you need to sign in to the Minecraft website in order to download it. So unfortunately, this will not work for crack players because you'll need a Minecraft premium account to log into both the website and the Minecraft launcher when we get it working. But yeah, if you guys want to see me try and get T-Launcher on the Chromebook, then definitely give this video a like and I'll see what I can do there. So yeah, just log into your account, download Minecraft for Debian, and then you should get something like this in your downloads folder. So what you want to go ahead and do is drag the minecraft.deb into your Linux files here. So just drag and drop that here. And as you can see, it's in there. Now you need to open up the Linux terminal. So you can do that by going to your start menu here and then just typing in Linux right here and open up the terminal like that. Then we need to run a few commands. So we're going to start off by typing sudo apt update like that and then just press enter and that should update all of the packages that we've got. Now that that's finished, we need to depackage the Minecraft that we just moved into our Linux files. So we can do this by going sudo dpkg-i and then minecraft.deb and then press enter. There we go, that's done. And then we need to do sudo f install like that. So I'll leave all these commands in the description down below so you guys can just copy and paste it and not write it out like a pro Linux programmer like me. And yeah, just press Y to this if it asks if you want to continue and just let it do its thing. So now if we just exit out of the terminal there, go to our start menu here. As you can see, we've now got Minecraft Launcher. So if we just click on that and open it up, it'll just download a couple of update files. Just leave it, let it do its thing. Now, this is where you might run into a couple of problems. So although we've got the Minecraft launcher all installed here, you go and click on it, nothing happens. So uh, yeah, this issue's kind of been with me all day. I've been trying to work out what the problem is and I think I've found out what the problem is. So basically we're missing libsecret. So to fix it, we just need to go sudo apt install libsecret-1-0 and then press Y when it asks you if you want to continue and just let that install. And now let's try and run the Minecraft launcher. So if we go here, Minecraft launcher, and here we are finally on the Minecraft launcher. That definitely didn't take all day. All right, let's go ahead and log into my account here and see how Minecraft runs on this system. All right, so I've just logged into my account here. We're gonna run vanilla 1.8.9 because that's the version that I normally play Minecraft with. So yeah, let's just go ahead and yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this runs. We don't have Optifine or anything like that. This is purely vanilla. Let's see how this little Chromebook can handle Minecraft. And here we are. So let's go ahead and make that full screen here. Let's just create a single player creative world and uh, see what FPS we get. I'm actually quite excited to see how much we get. Let's see here. Okay, now the chunks are loaded in. It's a little bit laggy. Oh my God. 
Right, okay. Let's turn down some settings because that was kind of unplayable there. Right, here we are. We're playing Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft. I'm using a trackpad right now. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah, and also another thing we need to do is we need to enable cursor lock. So we need to go to Chrome, colon, slash, slash, flags. Type in pointer in this little search box here. And yeah, make sure that this is enabled. Okay, so I've managed to enable FPS on the Chromebook. And yeah, here we are. We're getting a good solid 35 FPS, 17 a bit there. It's not as bad as I thought, honestly. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. The Chrome was definitely getting hot. It's quite hot to touch right now. But yeah, I wonder if we can get Optifine or maybe even a client installed on the Chromebook. That'd be quite cool. As you can see, we have got two gigabytes of RAM and our CPU is two times 065C. Don't really know what that means, but I do know this has got an Intel Celeron processor in it. So yeah, not the best specs. And uh, yeah, our FPS is kind of reflecting that. Yeah, we just dropped to eight there. I wonder if we can get a client on this. If I can go to where the Minecraft files are, maybe I might be able to install versions. No, is that not possible? Uh, I'm going to have to look into it. I think I'm going to look into getting a client installed on this Chromebook. And then we'll put this Chromebook for its paces properly, I think. All right, guys. So I've actually gone ahead and installed Luna Client on the Chromebook. It's actually really easy to do. I'll leave a link in the description down below to a video that I've followed. It's quite easy. It was literally just had to grab like two things. And we've got Luna Client. So yeah, let's go ahead and log in and uh, see what the FPS is like with a client on. All right, let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft Worlds. And here we are with Luna Client. So let's uh, just put on our FPS here. We're getting, getting 7 FPS. Oh, wow, Luna Client's made things worse. So yeah, we're on about, I don't know, about 30 to 40 FPS. Let me go ahead and turn off fog as well. Ooh, why have I got that on? Boom, there we are. We're in full screen on a Chromebook outputting to an external monitor. And yeah, this is what we get, really. We're on the tiniest render distance possible. And uh, yeah, I think Luna Client's kind of made things a little bit worse, honestly. It was working okay before. I think Luna Client is a little bit heavy on lower end systems. But yeah, this is kind of what we've got, really. So let's try and go on Hypixel here. I might go ahead and try and plug in my mouse and try and do a bit of PvP. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh my god, we're getting 5 FPS in the lobby. 3 FPS. Oh my god. This is this is going to be difficult. I mean, the hub, yeah, it is, it is quite demanding. Even on my low-end PC that I've been doing quite a few videos on recently. It's been uh, pretty challenging. Right, let's just hop into a duel here. It does get better. I hope it gets better. Uh, this is painful. Right, classic duel. Let's go. Right, okay, it's got a bit better. We're <laughs> we've gone up to 10 FPS. Oh, it's got a bit better now. Okay. Let's go. PvP on a Chromebook. Oh, I can't. I can't. Can I even get a hit on this guy? Oh my god. I've just been battered. I mean, I hit him once. He <laughs> well, <laughs> he lost one heart to me. Okay, FPS is looking pretty promising on this map. Nope, we've just... His particles are making my FPS worse. If you're a tryhard out there, get particles. If you're against someone with a low NPC, they've got no chance. Oh, I can't even play. Where am I looking? Again, nine-hearted. But still, my FPS... Oh my god. No. No. I can't even see what's going on. I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm on a Chromebook. Oh, my cursor is so annoying. Turned out my sensitivity. <laughs> yes. Get him. Get him on the trackpad. Oh, we're going four hearts down. <laughs> that guy's a classic master. Oh, this is just... See, it's all right now when I'm flying around, but... Oh, no. When As soon as I get down, it's like everywhere. 
Do you think we're better off on vanilla? I might try vanilla Minecraft after this because Luna is uh, not really helping here. Okay, this is looking promising. No, why do I have to lag? This is particles. Oh, come on. All right, so I've just joined on vanilla. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's any better, honestly. The lobby is just, it's just pain. It's so painful. I've gone past where I need to be. Uh, I need to go over there. No, not there. Here. Okay, it's not too bad now. Oh, no. No. It's so bad. Six FPS. Oh, I'm just like... Ugh. Come on, we've got this guy. No, oh, that was close. Oh, I give up. So, in conclusion to this video, Chromebooks, they're not for gaming. Just don't even try running Minecraft on them. It'll just end very badly, like it has for me. Chromebooks are for schoolwork, and schoolwork only. They can't really do anything else. They can maybe watch YouTube, maybe a few browser games, but definitely not Minecraft, and especially not Hypixel. So yeah, if you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel where I do loads of stupid things like this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.